Hey everyone, Mark Buffa here, and in today's video we're going to teach you how to measure an oval thumb using a caliper. So you're going to want to get yourself a caliper, preferably one that's made out of plastic. I like plastic better than the steel ones because they slide a little bit better on the skin. And also second thing that you're going to want to do is inspector, go to your settings, and make sure that this one here, oval width calculator, is set to thousands. And that's going to be one of the primary requirements here. And when you do that, you're going to notice that next to starting bit, that's going to ask you for a difference. First up, we're going to take our client. We're going to measure the skinniest part of the thumb. So basically the side where the nail is facing. We're going to take our caliper and we're going to rub it up and down, kind of go a little bit. So we squeeze down on it. So it's really tight here. So here we see about 765. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do 765. So around here, so let's go to 750 because I went around down and we're going to go up three. So one, two, three. So it brings me to 51 64 You can also, when you're doing this, you can go a little bit lighter. I like to really make sure that it's like just, just, and then just adjust a little bit from there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up. So like you saw here, 790, 797. So I'm going to go to about that on my caliper and I'm going to hit zero because now this is going to be my new starting point. And now I'm going to measure the difference. So now I'm going to go here and I'm going to measure the outside part of the thumb and try to stay as I'm not trying to squeeze it. I'm just trying to rub up against it. And here I'm showing about 145 thousandths. So now I can go here to difference and now I'm going to type in 145. Next, we're going to take our um, bow tie versatool here to check the oval degree. So we just put the hand in. We check on the little protractor that we've got there or, and we can see that it's about 40 degrees. So I'll go right here. I'll do a 40 degree oval, hit the calculate button. And there we have our five cuts for the oval. Again, these will display differently based on your settings, the way that this is done. So we see we have no pitches on the thumb. We set it in our settings to have the center as the pitches. So we see here we have a five cut oval. What's the middle? Zero, zero which basically matches our setting. So we've got 47 thousandths vertical uh, each way and 56 thousandths horizontal each way as well for the 40, cut, uh, 40 degree oval. So I hope this video shed some light on how to measure uh, an oval using someone's hand, using a caliper and using Spectre. Again, if you want to know how to do it using the BT ball fitter, which is my preferred method, check the link in the description below. And if you have any questions or comments, please let us know either in the comments or visit SpectreBowling.com. If you want to sign up, go to cloud.spectrebowling.com. Again, my name is Mark Buffa, your favorite pro shop instructor, and we'll see you guys in the next video.